I was just walking down the road a little bit ago, walking the dog, and I noticed all the wild onions out. It's the Texas wild onions here. Almost more like a garlicky taste, but you see the bulb down here. I just picked these out of the ground so they're muddy, but you can cut these up. It's more like a, a garlic leaf, not like an actual green onion. It's thin and flat, but you can cut these up. If you take this middle stalk here, it's more like a green onion. Stalk that's gonna have the seeds up there, it's gonna turn into little flowers, but uh, this is good eating. You can actually, uh, the middle stem will end up getting kind of woody towards the bottom a little bit, but uh, they're great for seasoning. Or you can uh, take these out of leaves here and chop them up fine and put them in the potato salad, something like that. So there are lots of things you can go out and forage for, uh, especially springtime uh, here in the south. There's a lot of good things. Uh, in Texas, a big thing is poke salad. It can be poisonous. You do have to boil it down, but uh, tasty green. I'll show you some of that when I'm out uh, around some fence posts or something. It goes around fence posts and old uh, wooden structures. Uh, another thing is chicory grows pretty wild. You can eat the leaves and the salad or whatever, kind of bitter, kind of give a nice little bite to it. Dandelions can be eaten. There's lots of things to be eaten. Uh, look at your local. I'm sure your state will probably show you what can be uh, forged. You can get on the on the state page of edible plants and they'll show you so you don't accidentally screw up and eat something you ain't supposed to. But um, for instance, like chicory, you if you buy uh, coffee, like we, we use community coffee, which is coffee and chicory. And what it is, they take the root of the chicory, roast it down like you're roasting a coffee bean, Grind it up, make grinds, and uh, make coffee with it. So uh, it's good herbal uh, extract there for you. So if you run out of coffee, you still have chicory. Anyway, just check out your local uh, area, what you can forage for. This time of year is good for that. And uh, keep your ass out of stores. So I'm making some dill potato salad and uh, I'm going to add some celery to it. And these are them green onions I just picked, the fresh green onion, the wild onion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these right across the top here and I'm going to use about halfway down. If you go past it, it's pretty woody. Like I was saying, but up here in the top, you're perfect. So there goes the wild onions and our potato salad. <laughs> 